Welcome in Niall Stanich, White House columnist for The Hill, joining us for more insight. Niall, it is great to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Good to see you, Natasha. So Supreme Court Justice Elena Kagan's decision on Ward's cell phone records, only temporary at this point. When you break down Ward's arguments against turning over those records, including that this is violating her First Amendment rights, do those arguments hold water? And how do you predict this legal battle is going to play out in the coming weeks? They certainly don't hold water in the view of the January the 6th committee. Now, I know that is predictable, but counsel for the committee has argued that the point here is really a very simple and stark one. They consider Kelly Ward to have been complicit or indeed active in an attempted coup. And they argue that that is the case because in particular of her backing of a slate of fake electors, people who would be pro-Trump electors put up to vote for him in the Electoral College, despite the fact that President Biden had won that state. So that's their argument. Now, there are some specifics in her case, like the fact that she is a medical doctor and she has noted that there are issues of patient confidentiality around her phone records. I think that is plausible, but the broad themes are, are pretty stark here. And we were just speaking with Kelly Ward's attorney. What was your takeaway from, from that interview? Well, I mean, my takeaway is that he has a job to do. Um, but, you know, to suggest that this is just a matter of political rivalry does not seem particularly credible to me. We're not talking about an investigation into Kelly Ward because she's a Republican or because she's a conservative or because she's a supporter of former President Trump. We're talking about an investigation into an attempt to overturn a legitimate election. To cast that as merely some sort of, oh, some people say one thing and some people say the other, I think greatly underplays the gravity of what took place in those weeks between the election itself and January the 6th and the subsequent inauguration of President Biden as the rightful victor in that election. And earlier this month, the January 6th committee revealed that during a hearing on its attempt to obtain the cell phone records, Ward asserted her Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination to avoid answering any questions. I wanted to ask, does, does that surprise you? It doesn't particularly surprise me. I don't necessarily want to draw too much extrapolation from it. I mean, people have the right, obviously, to claim uh, their Fifth Amendment protections. Um, I suppose as a political matter, could you perhaps see it as embarrassing to her? Well, some people will see it that way. But I think among, you know, pro-Trump voters, kind of defiance of the committee is probably both a politically good thing as well as uh, a self-interested action. So, no, to answer your question, it didn't particularly surprise me. Well, and another layer in all of this, over the summer, Ward was subpoenaed uh, by the DOJ in connection to a plot to try to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election. Is this at all playing into the investigation by the committee? I, I'm sorry, Natasha, I missed the, the last sentence of your question. No problem what? at all. Uh, is, is that at all playing into the investigation by the January 6th committee, the fact that over the summer Ward was subpoenaed by the DOJ in mm -hmm. connection to a plot to try to uh, overturn the results of the 2020 elections? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it is. I'm sorry for the momentary confusion. Yes, I mean, clearly there are these parallel probes going into these events. And while there is not direct cooperation between the DOJ and the January the 6th committee, indeed, there has been some tension between those two. Obviously, uh, both um, bodies are very closely tracking the other's work to see if it uh, either affects their own work or if there are lessons that can be drawn from it. So I would say that that's, you know, part of the picture here. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.